my negative thinking. I'm just pleased we got that. So, um, a couple of things that, um, if you have you ever driven a electric? Yeah. So a Prius. <laughs> so you're familiar with the regen thing, you know? Yeah. So that the kinetic energy of the vehicle gets taken up and um, regenerated yeah. back into the battery pack. So at the moment I'm taking power from the battery pack, and then if I take my foot off, we're going to go into regen, and you can feel the car decelerating. That energy then goes back into the um, battery pack. And so there's a couple of things that really haven't become sort of commonly recognized about these cars. One of them is that they're really easy to drive. So you, know, you can go foot off, foot on, in slow traffic. And yeah. it's, uh, you know, it, it's a car that can be easily driven in stop-go, commuter-type situations, maybe you're in a jam on the freeway or you've got lots of stop lights to negotiate. You don't have to put much emotional uh -uh, thought no, into it. There's no gears to manage, there's no um, power bands to be thinking about. Um, and uh, you essentially just need to steer and use your right foot to control the speed at, you know, at which you want to be traveling. And so, again, back into that, that slow, motion, movement, and then you know, when you want to, when you're in a position where, where you can, then you can just do this. That rocks. <laughs> and so that's the acceleration that you know, the car is so famed for. And it's just the, the thing which is not that understood, I mean everyone knows about the, the performance specs and all the magazine articles will, will tell you that, you know, that the car delivers to those performance specs. What isn't so understood is that you or I can produce them, and I'm not an expert driver. Right? But if you put me in some high-performance sports car right now, I've got to you know, understand the paddle shifts and hit the changes at the right time. There's none of that. You just decide when you want to go and you go. Very, very easy to drive. This is the bike. This is the the path I take when I ride my bike. Cool. <laughs> it's the same place. So we're not braking. The only time I touched the brakes was when I was decelerating hard. Everything else is just through the regenerative system and the use of the accelerator. And frequently when I'm driving, I'm you know I just don't touch the brakes. It's um, that's the cool. Regen. That's the coolest feature right there. Well, and that's what gets you the. Um, miles per gallon equivalent, you know, I mean, you're in the, I forget the exact number, 230, 240 miles per gallon. Um, if you take it back to the power station and imagine that it was oil that was generating the electricity in the first place. So... That's real cool. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a lovely experience to drive the car, and it's this ease of driving, which is the yet-to-be-commonly-realized um, advantage of these sorts of cars. Maybe, um, we'll, we'll wait and give us sort of a little bit of a gap here and we'll try and um, accelerate. Valparaiso, that's a nice house. <laughs>